Hello, let us learn about matter. We know that all things in this universe are made up of materials. Materials is also called matter. The food we eat, the air we breathe, plants, animals, doors, windows, books, boxes, stones, stars, even a small drop of water or a small particle of sand all are matter. All these occupy space and have mass. All materials are not of the same kind. The characters that help to identify a particular material are called properties of that material or matter. Some materials are very smooth to touch and some are rough to touch. Press and peel some objects shown below. Some of them are hard such as brick and stone whereas some are soft like bread and wool. Materials like clay have definite shape whereas sponge do not have definite shape. When you apply pressure, they change their shape. The materials that allow the light to pass through them are called transparent materials and the substances that do not pass light through them are known as opaque materials. Some materials allow light to pass partially through them so they are neither transparent nor opaque. They are known as translucent materials. Why are the handles of utensils made of plastic? This is because they do not conduct heat. Try to stir the boiling water with two spoons, one of wooden and the other of steel. After five minutes, you find that the wooden spoon does not get heated up, whereas the metal spoon becomes hot. This shows that metals conduct heat, but the non-metals do not. Some materials dissolve in water and others do not. Salt and sugar dissolve in water to form solution. They are called soluble materials. Materials like sand and sawdust do not dissolve in water. They are called insoluble materials. Matter exists in three different states, solid, liquid and gas. All matter consists of small particles called molecules. Molecules further consist of smaller particles called atoms. These states of matter are due to difference in the arrangement of the atoms or molecules of the matter. Let us study the properties of these states of matter in detail. These are the substances in which molecules are very closely packed. Example wood, iron nails, stones etc. All these are examples of solids. What happens if these objects are hammered, pulled or dropped? Can you compress them? You can observe that all these have a definite shape, distinct boundaries, fixed volumes and negligible compressibility. These are the substances in which the molecules are loosely packed. Water, cooking oil, milk, juice and cold drink are some examples of liquid. Unlike solids, liquids have no fixed shape but have fixed volume and can flow. They take the shape of the container in which they are poured or kept. They can flow from one place to another and change shape accordingly. So liquids are also called fluids. For better understanding, do the following activity. Take some glasses of different shapes and mark 100 milliliter using a measuring cylinder. Measure 100 milliliter of a liquid and transfer it into each glass one by one. Does the shape of the liquid remain the same? What happens when this liquid is spread on the floor? Does the volume remain the same? You will observe that liquids have no fixed shape but have a fixed volume. Do you know? Liquid water is the most important matter for all living things on our planet. Whenever we look into an empty container, we think it is empty. Is it really empty? No, the container has air in it. Whenever we pour liquid or anything into an empty container, the gas molecules of air are pushed out of the container. Matter changes from one state to another just by heating or cooling. Usually matter changes from solid to liquid and from liquid to gaseous state on heating. Matter also changes from gaseous state to liquid state and from liquid to solid state on cooling. The changing of gas into liquid on cooling is known as condensation. On further cooling, the change of liquid into solid is known as freezing. Changing of solid into liquid on heating is known as melting. And when liquid changes to gas on further heating, it is known as evaporation.
aquatic animals and plants breathe oxygen that is dissolved in water. If you open the bottle of a soft drink after shaking, what do you observe? You see gas bubbles coming out of the liquid. From where does this gas come? This gas is nothing but the carbon dioxide that is dissolved in the liquid under pressure. The molecules of gases are loosely packed, so there is more space between the molecules, example air, carbon dioxide, oxygen, steam, etc. Some solids mix with liquids very easily. Add one spoon of sugar in a glass of water and stir it. What happens to the sugar? Nothing can be seen in water. Now taste the water, it has sweet taste. Why? This is because the sugar gets mixed with water and dissolves in it. In the above example, sugar is called solute. Water in which the solute dissolves is called solvent and the water with sugar dissolved in it is collectively known as solution. That is, solute plus solvent is equal to solution. The sugar occupies the space present between the water molecules, so you cannot find the difference in water level. Matter also undergoes some changes like physical and chemical changes. When a physical change takes place, no new substance is formed, but there may be a change in the size, shape or state of the substance. For example, take a little candle wax in a spoon. Heat the spoon for some time until the solid wax changes into liquid wax. On cooling the liquid wax, you will find the liquid wax changes into solid again. This is an example of physical change. Any change which results in the formation of a new substance is called chemical change. For example, take some new iron nails, fit them and leave them in open for one or two days. After two days, you will find them rusted. We cannot get the nails as they were before. This is an example of chemical change. Let us summarize. Matter has mass and occupies space. Matter is made up of tiny particles called atoms. Matter can be solid, liquid or gas. In solids, molecules are closely packed. In liquids, molecules are loosely packed. In gases, the molecules are very loosely packed with more space between them. When solute dissolves in solvent, it forms solution. When a substance undergoes a change without forming a new substance, it is known as physical change. When a substance undergoes a change and forms a new substance, it is known as chemical change.